Welcome to this video that talks about how to make parameter queries in Microsoft Access. Now a parameter query is simply a query that allows the user to enter some information which will then be incorporated into the query. Let me show you an example. So the first question, create a query that asks the user to enter a customer number. The query should then display every order number placed by the chosen customer number. Display in the final query these fields in this order, customer number, order number, and order date. So the key here is that the query asks the user to enter a customer number. So let's go ahead and pull up Access and go through this one. So I'm going to go up and go on click or on create and create a query in design mode. For this one, I just need my orders table. Now the final query said they want to see customer number, order number, and order date. So if I run that, I get every single order from every single customer. There's 548 in this database. Now one way I could do this is I could have the user come in here and filter the data by putting the customer number here. For example, I want to see everything that came from customer 11. And that would filter the data and I would just get those. However, rather than having the user have to come into the design view, I can create a parameter. To do that, you're going to use open and close brackets like that. And anything you write is going to be what's written in the dialog box. So I'm going to say, please enter a customer number. Now, when I click, well, you can't include a period. Now when I click run, it's going to have this parameter box open. It says, please enter a customer number. When I type in 11, Access is going to take that value in this box and put it in the criteria down here. So I click OK. Now I get my query that just shows these results. If I run it again, the 11 is deleted and I can click 9 and it will just show me those. So every time I rerun this query, I get to enter these amounts again and it will give me a different output. Alright, let's do another second practice problem. Create a query that asks the user to enter a customer number, like we just did, but it also asks for start date and an end date. The query should then display every order number placed by the chosen customer number during the time period selected. Display in the final query these fields in this order, first name, last name, order number, and order date. Alright, so we're going to go back and modify what I've already started on. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So I need first name and last name. So to do that, I'm going to have to drag in my customer table. And that connection comes in. I'll click on first name and last name. And I need to, oops, I need to put those first. So we'll move those over. So I've got first name, last name. I now need order number and order date. Okay. Now notice the question. If we go back to the question, it says order number and order date. So I'm not displaying. Oops, like I was before the customer number. But I'm still going to need that uh, for, for filtering. So I'm going to just show, don't show the customer number. And if I run this, I get first name, last name, order number, order date, just like I need to. Now I need to put in my parameters. So the first one I need is that they can enter a customer number. We did that on the last one. Please enter a customer number. And I'm good to go. So now when I run it, I can enter my customer number, go to trusty number 11, and I get all of their transactions. Now I need to be able to list the dates that I want to do. So to do that, first, if you go back to the question, I need AND here. This AND means that it has to do both. It's not an OR, it's an AND. So I know that I'm going to have to put them on the same line. All right, so on order date, I need to have a function where I can have dates between a certain value. And I can either type it in here or I can go to the builder. I'm going to go ahead and just type it in this time. And, and I already wrote it out so I could just paste it in really quick. Let's make it bigger. And you're going to notice I use the function between. And then what I put in brackets is my parameter. So I have an enter start date. And I also want it to display how I want to put in that date. So it needs to be listed as month, month, day, day, year, year. And then enter the end date, month, month, day, day, year, year. All right, this between function will, will get all those transactions that are between the beginning and the ending date. So when I run this, you'll notice first I'm going to be asked for the customer number. 
I'll do 11. Now it has a start date. I'm going to do January 1st for 2020 to 12-31-2020. I run it, and now instead of getting all the transactions for Sean, I only get those that happened in 2020. Now one thing to be aware of with parameters is sometimes you'll you'll run this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this to demo this. And you'll say, hey, I just want to see customer number. And if you put in the wrong customer number, I don't have a customer 5,000, I'll get a no result. And you might think you did something wrong, but it's just because you input something that when it filters it, it doesn't work. So to summarize, parameter queries allows the user to input data, which then interacts with the query. You can use brackets these square brackets and that will be the dialog box that you put in and whatever's entered in the dialog, dialog box will be filtered so if you want more review on filtering go back and watch that video but together that's how you make parameter queries